let's verify the left identities like the right. So to do that, starting out here, what I'm going to do is multiplies together. So cotangent. So think of cotangent as the same thing as cosine x over sine x. So I end up with cosine squared x over sine x <clears throat> plus cosine x over sine x. And then cosecant's the same thing as 1 over sine x. So we get minus cosine x over sine x minus um, 1 over sine x. So actually these middle terms cancel out and we're left with cosine squared x minus 1 over sine x. And what we can do here this is almost a trig identity, identity. Factor out negative one, and we get one minus cosine squared x over sine x. So this is a trig identity, it's equal to sine squared x, so we get negative sine squared x, which is the same thing as sine x, sine x over sine x. And we end up with negative sine x. And that's it. That proves our trig identity. All right. I hope that helped you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.